I completely understand the desire to be liked, the desire to be accepted, the desire to be loved even. And there is nothing wrong with those desires, but I see women who are rejecting their own dreams, rejecting their own growth, rejecting their health, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, so that they can be accepted by others. And that is never good. Your desire to be loved, your desire to be liked, your desire to be accepted by someone else or another group should never exceed your desire to remain faithful to yourself. And I'm not even saying this in a selfish way. And I believe that many Christian women struggle with this because that idea of self-sacrifice can be so ingrained in us that we take on this lifestyle where we are, I don't know how else to say it, abused for being nice. You know, there's this concept of being nice, being pleasant, not rocking the boat. And that is not what we are called to do. Conversely, we are not called to chaos and drama either for its own sake. And this is where purpose is so important. You have to know purpose and you have to be driven by purpose. There has to be something that is bigger than you that is helping you to create your life. And whether you realize it or not, you are creating your life. And I wanna read something for you that I wrote earlier. And I'm hoping that it is going to shed some light and it's gonna help you to really hone in on what you're called to do and what you're called to be right now because some of you are in this space where you know that a change is necessary you even feel the shift happening inside of you but you are just not really sure of what's happening and you're not really sure of why and i get it it can be hard, you know, going through these challenges and these changes that come with being a woman can be a hard thing. But I want to just read this for you and um, tell me what resonates with you. Because if you are at a point where you cannot see your life clearly, I believe this is going to help. When vision and purpose aren't a priority, without realizing it, you'll do your best to preserve everything that's keeping you from progressing. You will do your best to preserve everything that's keeping you from progressing. You'll keep yourself from, experience, from expanding in environments that frustrate you because you don't want to upset the people who don't want you to change. You stay silent in spaces where your voice can add value to the conversation. You maintain roles that are no longer relevant and that drain your energy. You carry your sacrifices like a badge of honor and feel resentment when you aren't recognized for them. Change is a part of who you are. Don't think that being the same woman you've always been means you're being authentic. Maybe you showed up a certain way 10 years, two weeks, or two days ago. Change is a part of every woman's journey, and you're allowed to change your mind about how you see yourself and all that affects you. You're allowed to change your mind about the influence you want to be. This means that you're allowed to heal, to grow, and to make better decisions for your benefit 
and the benefit of those you do life with. Your authenticity includes your evolution. You aren't betraying yourself or anyone else when you allow yourself to evolve. And that's why you feel like you aren't yourself anymore because you are shifting, you are changing, you are evolving and that's okay. There are times in a woman's life, I'm off script. There are times in a woman's life where she is going to evolve. You went through changes at puberty. You went through changes when you became a mother. You went through changes when you became a wife. You went through changes when you became a sibling, when you became a sister. Those of you, I had um, seven years of my life where I was an only child in my household. I had siblings, but being a part of a, I'll call it a separated family in that house that I lived in, I was an only child for quite some time. There was adjustment when my brother came along. So with every season of life, there is adjustment and that adjustment is going to require a different version of you. It's also going to require a different vision from you. So don't think that you can be the same woman that you've always been. You can't. And that's why it can feel like the world is passing you by and everyone is passing you by and everyone else is progressing. Everyone else is losing weight. Everyone else is 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 getting a hold of their finances. Everyone else's relationship seems to be pro progressing. Like what is going on with me? You have to evolve too. And if you keep holding on to the person that you've always been, life is always going to seem like it is passing you by, but it isn't. It isn't. There is a core essence of who you are. That is your authenticity. But when you refuse to allow that essence to, to blossom and to bloom, if you know anything about um, essential oils, you'll know that they need to be protected to preserve not only their healing properties, but their fragrance. And you are the same way. You need to be protected in order to preserve your fragrance. And I don't believe that, you know, this is metaphorical. A woman's fragrance is not going to change. And I'm not talking physical fragrance. I'm not talking body odor. I'm not talking that. I am talking about the essence of who you are. There is a part of you that is carried through. There is a part of your character. There is a part of who you are that has always been there. And that is the piece of you that you must hold on to. But there are other parts of you that have been learned. There are other parts of you that were put on you. There are other parts of you that were assigned to you by other people. But you have to know the difference between what's been assigned to you and what is authentic to you. Right? And I want for those of you who feel like life is changing. I'm trying to change and I don't know how. I want to encourage you to spend some time away from the things that are pulling on you. And for some of you, I know that that is difficult. For some of you, your lives are so busy and so full because you're showing up for everyone else but yourself that you don't even have time to sit with your own thoughts, to sit with your own feelings to see what is it that what is it that i truly feel what is it that i truly want from my job from my relationship how do i want to show up as a mother how do i want to show up as a wife how do i want to show up as a daughter of aging parents how do i want to show up as a sibling in adulthood you know it's one thing the relationship that you had with your brothers and your sisters when you were 8 but now you're 32. 
you're 45. How do you show up in those relationships? And how do you show up well? Not well in terms of performance, but well in terms of your own well being. How do you show up whole? How do you show up healed so that you are the influence and the solution that you were created to be in every environment that you enter? Your evolution is essential to that. Your evolution is essential to you remaining authentic to that thread that has been woven through your entire life from the time you were a child. There is an aspect of your character, of your ability, even of your voice that has always been there. She is the authentic you, but she doesn't stay the same size. When you were eight, your voice sounded different, right? When you were 25, your voice sounded different. And have you ever heard the voice of a more mature woman? It doesn't sound like the voice of a young woman. There is wisdom in that voice. There is depth in that voice. So don't don't resist the change that you feel. Don't resist the shift that you feel, especially if you're a woman in your 30s and your 40s and you feel like a change is coming on you and you don't quite know how to navigate this change. Lean into it. Pray into it. Invite God into your changes. Invite God into your confusion. There is so much clarity that can come. You can, if you have been on this channel for any amount of time recently, you will hear me say a woman needs three daily appointments. There are three types of appointments, one with God, one with yourself, and one with others. And when you focus on those appointments in that order, clarity will come. I promise you, clarity will come, but do not resist do not resist the shift that needs to happen within you in order for you to show up well, to show up whole, and to show up healed. I hope this helps. Blessings on your journey. I'll talk to you soon.